Hello, this is Jonas from VHGLWiz.com. In this video, I want to talk about a terminology issue that arises from time to time, and that is, quote, VHGL programming, unquote. You may have seen people say that online, and you may also have seen people answer them, for example, in the comment sections, and say, don't say programming, don't call it VHDL programming because it's not programming. So why are they saying this? It, it, is it correct and what should you say instead? That's what I want to talk about in this video. So first we have to know what is a programming language. What is actually programming? For example, the C programming language, that's a programming language, or Python, that's a programming language. Java, all of those are programming languages. And what they have in common is that the end product, whether it's a high level or low level language, it's compiled into a set of instructions, a program that the computer runs through, like the processor on your computer will start at the beginning and run through the program and jump if there are any jumps, but it's a program, it's a specific set of instructions, that's a program. But in other coding languages, not only VHDL, let me start with another example, for example, HTML, like the markup language, or CSS, the, um, the styling sheet language for developing web pages. Those are coding languages, but it's not programming because you're not creating a computer program. So it would be strange to say that I'm programming HTML because you're not programming anything. And in the same way with VHDL, you're not creating a computer program. The end product is a netlist, like a configuration of the FPGA that's loaded into the FPGA. So there's no CPU running any code. Uh, it's it's uh, it's electronics you're you're creating. It's a hardware description language. So that's why people say it's wrong to say you're programming VHDL. And f quite frankly, I think you should avoid it, especially when talking to other professionals. For example, if you are in a job interview, or if you're talking to your new colleagues at work, or if you're at a conference, you should just say VHDL designing designing VHDL or coding VHDL, because if you say programming, it may signal that you actually don't understand everything that you are doing. Uh, so it's just a small terminology, but it, it's uh, wise to avoid it, especially when talking to other professionals. Now, there are some times that I actually use the, uh, the, uh, the term programming myself, and that's when I'm talking to non-IT professionals. For example, if I'm talking to my grandmother, she doesn't know what programming is, she doesn't know what an FPGA is, certainly not. So if I was going to start explaining all of that, it would be just too difficult, so it actually makes it simpler for me just to say, oh, I'm programming a special, I'm teaching a special programming language. It's not really the truth, but it, in some cases when talking to Non-IT people actually just makes it simpler for me. But it's not programming, and I think you should just say I'm a VHDL designer, I d I'm designing VHDL, or I'm coding VHDL. So that's my five cents. I want to hear what you think about this matter. Just write it in the comments section below this video.